Good afternoon, Rosebud Art and Soul Design and paint, paint with your heart and soul. How are we all doing? I apologize, I'm a little late. I was just getting some stuff done in the house. So the other day we prepped out canvas and painted it gold. Um, I'm just gonna do this step with you guys one more time. So I'm just having my graphite paper, the shiny black side I'm gonna put down onto the canvas. And then I'm gonna have the tracer Make sure this fits around here perfectly. Okay, now I'm just gonna have my tracer put right on top of it. Make sure the graphite paper is down. And then I like to wrap it around like so, just so that it's holding down. All right, so yes, if you are in pink with your heart and soul, uh, you guys have all the materials. You guys have the step-by-step -step instructions. You guys have the supply lists, and you also have this tracer, which you can print out yourself. Um, if you would like to purchase an art kit with the supplies and already pre-traced canvas, um, you guys can drop down art kit down below in the canvas. I mean in the canvas, in the comments below. And I can get you guys some more information on how we can order art kit. So yes, um, I am selling at home art kits if you would like um, with my designs on them. Okay, so that you guys are more than welcome to come back to this video and then paint this along with me if you do not have the supply list or do not have a craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby nearby. So yes, I do supply art kits. Um, so art kits, so some an art kit like this. Um, you would get an 11 by 14 canvas, which, which is the canvas I'm currently using. And the canvas is, will be already pre-traced. Um, so put this one in particular, I will probably already have a painted gold for you. Um, and then you will come back to this video and do the steps with me. Or I'll resupply the video for you from my YouTube channel that I have. So happy Saturday. How is everybody doing today? I am so excited that next week is spring br spring break for me. Um, again, if you guys don't know, I am in um, a high school art teacher. And we've just been going nonstop. And I think we just need a break. And I'm so excited that it's next week. Okay, so once you get that all on, I can remove my tracer. I'm just gonna put it over here to the side. And then the paper. Okay. All right, so I see it a little bit. I don't see a lot, but I do see a little bit. It's hard to see it on the gold um, paper. All right, so let me just, I'm just double checking to make sure I'm coming up on the pages where I'm supposed to be. Uh, so if you are here, just drop in and say hello. Okay, yes, I see, we're live, perfect. So say hi as you guys are hopping on. Okay. So I have the instructions here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to want to be doing is I painted the entire black. So I painted the entire background with. I totally just dropped the color. That is okay. I'll get it in a minute. With rich espresso metallic. So I painted it with that one. So we're all done with that color. So I'm just going to move that to the side. Giving it my other color I just dropped. Um, I'm also going to take out, I, I forgot to take out my 
two main colors. Well, not really main colors. My colors that I always use, which are black and white. So let me just give me a second. Just taking out black and taking out white. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. So I am going to start off with white paint. I'm going to fill it with the bunny's body. So what I'm doing is I am taking a one inch flathead brush. Okay. And if you can see where it went, I really can't see where it went. So we're, we're going to freehand this. All right, we're going to just get a free hand. Which is perfectly fine. I'm going to paint in where his head would be. Fully white. All right, so again, you if you feel like you need a second coat, you guys are more than welcome to go in and put in a second coat. If you like the streaky look, the streaky look is fine as well. And then we're going to go in and paint in where his body would be. Okay. So I'm just painting in his body area. I'm trying not to use a lot of white because I don't want it to be super wet. And again, I did not wet my brush before I started this. I just basically went in. So that's basically where his body is. I'm just going to close up the neck area. Just like that. All right. So I'm also going to be doing his ears. Uh, so I believe one ear would be right around here. So I'm just painting that in. And the other ear is coming off the canvas, which is perfectly okay. Um, and I was trying to explain this to my kids yesterday. We're doing a still life in class. So I'm like trying to explain to them. It's okay if you're going off your canvas. It's okay um, to show how big your objects actually are and go off the canvas. So that's perfectly fine. Okay. So now I'm going to clean my brush in water. So I like to make sure I rub it on the bottom of the, the cup. So if you use it, you can use a solo cup, a glass, an extra glass jaw. I have a paintbrush jaw, which has like this grate in it. Uh, so it helps me wash my brush. And I wipe it and I just clean it and then I dry it off with a paper towel that I have sitting on the side. Okay, so the next step is I want to take some green metallic. So I'm using Festa Green Metallic by Deco Art. And I have exciting news I'm going to kind of go into. In a little bit. Um, if you guys like stencils, and I can show you guys some stencils that I have. I do have a promotional code where you guys can save 10% on your orders. Um, at a company called Essential Stencils. All right. So they are a family owned place. All right, so I'm just putting some green and I want to kind of just go in and I want to go around the edges of the border um, just to add some texture, all right? So I'm just going to go in and like do some dabs around.
with the metallic rings. So Essential Stencils is a family owned business, which is they're kind of amazing. I'm just dabbing. I got some white coming off, so I'm just gonna make sure I wash my brush again to make sure that gets all clean. And they have they make great stencils. I mean, if you are somebody who's into crafts, especially if you like to make signs for like I'm I'm making porch signs at the moment. So if you're somebody that likes to do that, um their stencils are amazing and they're reusable and they are very friendly and they don't break so i just dab that green all around just like so okay then we want to go in the next color we're going to be using is um in the bunny's ears and the bow ties. I'm like trying to follow the instructions along with you guys. So the next color I'm gonna be taking is regular espresso. So this is not a metallic color. So this is just regular espresso. And these are actually all brand new colors. I actually ordered them from Deco Art recently, just so I can do this painting with you guys. Okay. You can keep the one inch flat ahead or you can get a little skinnier brush if you like to. I'm just cleaning off the same brush again and again, going in with the brown. All right, so with the brown, I wanna go into the ears and do the inner part of the ear. All right, just like so. It doesn't have to be too crazy, all right? Again, if you need a second coat, don't be afraid. You can always put a second coat in. And if it's falling off the page, that is perfectly fine. Okay. And then we're going to do the bow tie. So with the bow tie is there's a, you can do, you can do a circle, you can do a square. And then you're just creating a bow tie. I know it might be hard to see against the gold background. But we'll get that all to work in. All right. Just want to get a little bit more brown and again. And again, guys, you can wait for your canvases to dry because you can see mine is kind of mixing in with the white. That's perfectly fine as well. It gives it some texture, it gives it some dimension. So don't worry about that. All right, so the next color we're gonna use is a color called Antique Gold. So that is, and this is Champagne Gold. Antique Gold, which is more of like a yellow base for you guys. What we're going to do next is painting flowers all around him. So we're still allowing um, the bunny to dry. All right. Um, you can do flowers, or since it's Easter time, you can paint it eggs. Uh, you can even do a different color background if you don't want the gold background. Get creative. All right. So if, as you guys are hopping on, just say hi. Okay, if you guys are interested in joining our group, we can get all of the material, the information on where to buy the materials and the supply, the supply list along with the instructions and along with the tracer. Just drop in group in the comments. If you're interested in me sending you all the material at, as an art kit to do at home, just write an art kit in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. All right, so with the antique gold, we're just gonna go around and just make some blobs of flowers. So what I'm going to be doing is 
let me just show you guys the edge here. I'm holding this and I'm kind of going in a wave. Just like that. And you can see it creates these curls for a flower. All right, so you guys can do that as many times as you like around the canvas. I'm obviously no longer following the tracer and that's perfectly fine, okay. Uh, okay too, I'm sorry. Adding some more paint. You can even overlap and I'll show you how you can overlap. So I'm putting one big flower here and then if I want to overlap, I will just kind of remember that I have one flower overlapping here. So it looks like one big flower at the moment, but then we'll separate it in the end when we add the details. Okay. We're kind of going all around. Okay. And I'm going to add one more here in this corner. And you know what? Let me add one more down below in the bottom corner as well. Okay, so now we have our flowers. Um, it's again, it's perfectly okay that they look like this because, in the end, we're going to add some details. And in the end, they're going to start to look more like flowers. So, so far, I have not changed my brush. I just kept washing it and rinsing it off and drying it. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. If you work with different brushes, that's all right as well. Okay. Then we're going to go in with a dark green. I'm using black forest green. And what we're going to be doing next is I'm going to show you guys how to make some greenery that's coming out. Again, still with the same brush. All right, so we're going to start off with some. All right, so when you're doing it with the brush, so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of like just trying to get it all at the edge on the flat side of this brush. And what I'm going to kind of do is, I'm going to start over here in this corner. I'm just using the corner and I just want to kind of drag it out. Now, if you feel like that, this one inch brush, brush is big, you guys can go for a smaller brush which I think I'm going to use instead. I'm going to use the smaller brush. All right. And you're just pulling. And these are just going to be like twigs or, or springs of leaves that are just coming out. That's crazy. I just had the ice cream now coming out for the first time. That's how you know the weather is getting warmer. It was super crazy this morning. We had a, a mini downfall of, of, of rain. Crazy. All right. Um, with the same green, I'm going to actually go and make some leaves as well. So to make it look like it's coming from behind. And I'm going to actually get some other greens. I'll probably put the metallic in here. Okay. We're just putting in some leaves. And you can put your leaves anywhere you like. 
Again, this is your canvas. This is your funness. Be creative. So with the leaf, I'm just holding it at the edge and doing a football shape. You want one leaf, two leaves, it's all up to you. Okay. And again, your leaves can look like they're falling off a bit as well. All right, I'm gonna wash off my brush a little bit. I'm gonna go back with the metallic green and just shake him up a little bit. And with the metallic green, I'm gonna go back in and just wash off this other brush because I'm gonna need them. Just wash off my brushes. Again, you guys can wait for things to dry. All right, I'm going in with the metallic. And what I'm just doing with the metallic brush is again with those springs that I was doing, I'm just going to go with the metallic over those first part of the springs that I did, especially because I color some of them with the leaves. So it's okay. But it also gives us a variation of color. And then I'm going to go in with the leaf into the leaf as well and kind of give the leaf a second color, just like that. And it gives it dimension. Just like that. All right, and then you can see it gives it like highlights and so forth. All right, so if you're following along on the instructions, I'm on step eight. All right. Where it's talking about using a paper towel. Um, this is optional, uh, but instead of a paper towel, I'm going to show you something a little different. Uh, that's if you want to like put like wads or dark greenery all over the place. We're not there yet. Okay. Now we're going to step nine. We're going with our round brush. So what a round brush looks like is instead of the bristles being flat, the bristles are round. So here's a round brush. So these are two different round brushes. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one in particular. I'm gonna go, go back in and add some more greenery. So let's add, hmm, what colors can we add for more greenery? Let me go in my box of colors to add some more greenery. I feel like I had a color out and I don't know what I did with it. I'm going to go in with festive green just to pop some color in there, a little lighter color. All right, so with the round brush with the festive green. Again, I'm just going in and adding some more greenery. Just like so. And then I can go back over that a little bit with, I didn't even wash my brush. I just went over it with the darker green real fast, just so it's not so bright. Okay, and now we're washing off that brush. You can repeat those steps as necessary. All right, so now we're gonna add some more. I added already some metallic. So we already did step 10. Um, so we're gonna add some coral or I'm using cotton candy. And this is gonna be for his cheeks. Okay. 
So you can use coral, uh, like I said, I'm using cotton candy for his cheeks. I told him new colors, but some of them ran out. Now I'm like opening them all up in front of you, which is okay. It's giving everybody a chance to dry. And if you guys, I only use a paper plate for a paint palette, so you guys don't have to go all crazy and fancy. So again, with my round brush, I'm just going to make sure it is completely clean and dry. Make sure there's no green in it. I'm going into the cotton candy. And now I want to make his cheeks. So in a circle. In a circle. And there are his rosy cheeks. All right. They don't have to be perfect. Okay. Okay. So then we want to go in with we'll probably go with this metallic purple amethyst. I'm using metallic amethyst. And we're going to make his nose. So his nose looks like a jelly bean. And that's going to go in between the rosy cheeks. So we're going to get a jelly bean shape. So if you want to draw it in, you guys are more than welcome to draw it in first. Or you guys can just go with it with the paintbrush. It might be easier to do it just with the paintbrush. You got more free flow with the paintbrush. Okay. Right, so I'm not going. So again, you don't need a lot of this color because it's only doing the nose. I'm going to do that with a little thin around brush. And again, it's like a jelly bean shape. So it's right between. So you want to go, go down and then go up. Just like so. All right. And there's his nose. Very simple. Okay. Very, very, very simple for his nose. And that's it for the nose. Um, I'm going to use the darker brown again, the espresso color, using the same brush I just washed. Okay. I'm going to make his little mouth, and that's easy as well. You're just going to come in, down, and up. Down and up. Just like that, okay? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And now I'm just gonna do, use the same brown. I'm just gonna go into the ears again real fast. Okay, perfect. So next we're going to use a reddish brown or a lighter brown. This is called terracotta. 